I've been waiting for something like this for years. If you're ever in a situation where you want to use a fancy condenser microphone, but you have absolutely no way of powering it, then X5 have come to the rescue with the P1. Oh, I love this thing. I've been looking for something like this for such a long time, and I used to use this thing made by Newer, which provides phantom power for condenser microphones. The only problem with that is you need mains power, and I used to get a horrible buzz every time I used it. So let me talk you through how this thing works. It's got an internal battery, you charge it up via micro USB, I think you can get USB-C versions of this as well, and then you literally click on. And you've got LED indicators telling you how much battery you've got left. You can then plug this either directly into your microphone, like I'm about to do, or you can plug it into the end of the XLR lead that isn't connected to your microphone. You then select either 12 volts or 48 volts and your microphone is powered. Well, you might think, well, when will that ever come in handy? Well, one example is if you're planning to use a boom pole to record your audio. I've got a shoot coming up later this month and it means I can use my Rode Wireless Go with a condenser microphone. So I no longer have to have leads running off and all over the set when I'm trying to record. Just so you can see how this works, I've got this lead. Uh, this lead isn't necessary, you can use this adapter. Instead, I've got one coming, but it's not gonna arrive till Thursday, and I was just really excited about making this video. So I've plugged the 3.5 millimeter end into the Rode Wireless Go. I've got the XLR end, which I can plug into the P1. And now you can see I've got an audio level coming straight through to the Rode Wireless Go. This means whoever's running around with the boom pole isn't gonna trip anyone up, isn't gonna get tangled in their own wires, and it's actually gonna reduce the weight quite a bit of the boom. And the way I'm gonna be capturing the audio is with this Tascam, which has two outputs. So there'll be a feed for me, I'll be able to hear exactly what's happening and I'll be able to tell the sound recordist that I want the microphone a little bit closer to their mouths or it's in the shot, but also, because of the two outputs, I'm gonna use a separate wireless microphone system to send a feed back to the sound recordist. Ah! Literally a small filmmaker's dream. Okay, so I'm literally just hand holding this microphone at the moment, just so you can tell whether there's any interference. Um, this is the Murfac NP10 microphone. I love this microphone, but I can literally just walk around with a shotgun microphone. I can walk over here, I can walk over there, and I can walk back to the microphone. And because of the Rode Wireless Go 2's range, I can go pretty much anywhere I want. Now another use for this is it means that you could put a big condenser microphone directly on top of your camera and still have it powered. If you're using a small mirrorless camera, then something like this would have been your only option. But now we can use something as little, as dainty, and as powerful as this thing. Don't know if you can tell, but I really, really like this. I've said in the past that I'm not gonna be posting reviews on this channel of items that I don't truly think are excellent. And this thing is excellent. And it's only 60 quid as a bargain. I'll put a link in the video description. So this is just a preliminary introduction to this product. In a couple of weeks, I've got a week long shoot coming up where we're making four short films. And we're gonna have a dedicated sound recorder, so I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes footage of just how well this thing works. Look, just turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Brilliant.